You call this a space gun? This is most illogical. <laughs> Hey, my name is Jobby, and we're looking at the Bingo Toys BT-01 Wave Man, which is a third-party version of the Transformers character Shockwave from the movie Bumblebee, which by all accounts was pretty good. But you know what's really good? Hello Fresh, the sponsor of this video. Being 44 years old and addicted to expensive action figures, it's a bit hard for me to eat out. But with Hello Fresh, I can get delicious and nutritious meals delivered straight to my door that I have to cook myself. Not a problem. Every HelloFresh recipe, and there are many recipes to choose from, includes all the ingredients you need in the correct proportions. You won't be left with any extra ingredients that you'll feel obligated to use. Unless you want leftovers, it's super easy to adjust your plan and increase your order size, just in case you have more than one mouth to feed, like a wife and kids. And most importantly for you culinary noobs, you get easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. So, cooking, huh? That's like building a model kit, right? We gotta make some tacos. One pan Santa Fe pork tacos. One pan's all I got. Every HelloFresh recipe features produce that goes straight from the farm directly to you in under a week, which means everything on their spring menu is gonna be fresh AF, which is how you'll feel after one of these meals. Having all the ingredients perfectly portioned and planned out for you means you won't have to waste your time going to the grocery store. Their 50 weekly options are a huge time saver. And if you're trying to eat healthy, which I am, obviously, their fit and wholesome recipes make it easy to eat well without having to sacrifice flavor. It's also up to 72% cheaper than dining out at a restaurant, <laughs> according to a Zagat dining survey. I came out of my own head. God damn, I can't believe that came out of these evil hands. I don't have to leave my house ever again. Not that I did anyway. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code JOBBY16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts. That's right, 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts using code JOBBY16 at HelloFresh.com. It was in the notes that I had to repeat it. From today's sponsor, HelloFresh. Mm. Here's a pork taco. You, you try it. Give, give a taste. Alright, man. Give a taste, Pa. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay, right? You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I cooked. You know, it's good. I cooked. I cooked it. I cooked it to perfection. All right, let's see. Come on. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. I'm a happy man. But from what I can remember of the movie, I'd give it a solid six out of ten because the majority of the film wasn't those first ten minutes on Cybertron. Wonderfully executed scene, everything I wanted to see from a Transformers live action project, and it gave us some really nice and highly marketable designs, including this guy who comes out of the box with his eye. Iconic gun arm unattached. Two-handed shockwave is kind of blasphemous. Fortunately, a gun arm is included. Very nice detail on this thing. And all you gotta do is open up his arm, fold up his hand, close that up, and plug it in. Kind of a snug fit. Like you're- And yet, something still feels like it's missing. <laughs> And included cable, which is a glorified slinky. This plugs into this really conspicuous peg on the gun. Now that connects all the way to this really conspicuous peg on the back. But once you got that attached, the painting and the sculpting on this figure is conspicuously awesome. This has gotta be the best live action shockwave design ever. Not much of a feat since the only other one is that. Not that bad, actually. But you can tell they tried their damn best to fuck it up. Sure, the gun arm is a little bit exaggerated, but otherwise, this design embraces its G1 cartoon roots with blocky shapes, huge swaths of plain color. Only in this case, it's realistic, guys, with some delicate dry brushing and weathering. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say delicate? What I meant was... <laughs> and dry brushing's just when you take a brush, preferably something harder than this, like mine, and lightly rub it across an area to highlight the raised edges. I've covered this in a few model kit reviews. I do find a lot of the weathering to be overdone, especially when you look at it side by side with the concept art. Few patches of silver scratches here and there, but on this figure, it's like he took a bath and shit.
I think I saw that video once. It's not that big of a deal, still realistic enough. I just find his strangely seductive thighs a little too... Dirty. These feel like die-cast metal, by the way. Lord Megatron, I'm trying to infiltrate the Autobot base, but I'm so dummy thick that I'm quoting a dead meme. There's a possibility that some people will find that he looks a little bit wonky. He's not entirely movie accurate, but consider the fact that shut up that Bingo Toys is a third-party company, which means they wouldn't have had access to the original files for the design. So this figure was entirely sculpted the old-fashioned way. And by that I mean measure out, work on it, measure out, work on it. Excuse me, I'm just imagining how sculpting a virgin would look like. And a little, I suppose it's a big fun fact here, this guy can transform. Which we're not gonna get into right away, but I just wanted to say that because the back is clean as hell. I mean, pretty dirty thanks to the weathering, but still. Minimal kibble, detailed up the wazoo, just really impressive overall. But is it really that impressive when the transformation looks like this? We'll get to it. But the best part of this design, the hell. Head. Bingo Toys did a great job of capturing the likeness, and the designers from the movie did a great job at staying true to the original. But they couldn't resist giving him an angry brow. Yes, we know he's an evil Decepticon. Doesn't mean you have to force an angry expression. There's something a lot more sinister with a bright orb in the center of a void. But to be fair, if we kill the crab, gotta get my tweezers. Reminds me when they took out my kidney stones. This LED board. Batteries are not included. But less annoyingly, the instructions actually tell you what batteries you need. Also take note of how pathetically short these things are. The transformation is... We'll get to it. A pair of AG Zeros, which is equivalent to LR521 batteries. Battery not included. And once you get these little guys in here, put in his head, revive the crab, and there's no switch. But if you watched my Planet X Caucus review, you might know where this is going. The gun arm has some magnets on either side, so all you gotta do is tap. Very cool. Almost makes me forget that those stupid angry brows are there. I guess my only complaint with the feature, I'd prefer it to be a solid color rather than having this halo effect. My condolences to Halo fans. Also, when you shut it off, you could clearly see that ugly LED chip in there. I don't know if it's just me, but that looks cheap. Which this isn't. Links in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. It could potentially be annoying to have to take off the gun arm every time you want to activate the eye. Eh. Uh, doesn't always work. But you can always just remove this part, which is a lot more convenient. Or use any kind of magnet TBH. So sure, this figure looks amazing, but does it feel good? Not the best. There's something with such thick limbs. He's weirdly floppy in some areas. Not a wet noodle by any means, but he is sorely lacking any sort of ratchet joints. Are ratchet joints that expensive to produce? Or are they just catering to people who think ratchet joints are limiting? By definition, they are, but you could still have ratchet joints and get a full range of articulation with added stability. So in my opinion, there's really no excuse for this. Not awful, and he does feel nice and heavy. Hefty, he kind of is, and he's actually quite posable. Ball joint at the head, can look up, not that far, and look down, not that far. Extending neck would have been nice. Every ball joint can be a swivel. Shoulder thingies are on a hinge joint, which clears the way for this shoulder joint to move up, and this hinge joint can bend even further up. Of course, couldn't have done that without this shoulder pad articulation. Full rotation at the arm. The slinky doesn't get in the way at all. You could just unwind that. Bicep swivel. Double bend at the elbow. Here's a better look on his other arm. Wrist swivel. Ball joint at the thumb, which is way too loose, hinge joint, and a hinge joint, hinge joint on all of his fingers. No such functionality on the gun arm, not even pumping pistons or whatever. Not required, just pointing it out. Waist swivel, ab crunch, which reveals some new back detail. Unfortunately, it's kind of useless. <sighs> ball jointed front skirts, which can move up. Every ball joint, kind of. Side skirts move out, and the butt skirts move up. Opens up the hip for a... 
what the fuck? But you can actually swing down this whole assembly, which gets you a great kick. You can get even higher if you move the front skirts in a certain way. And the leg moves back that far. Beautiful spread! Barely there, thigh swivel, double bend at the knee, which kind of reveals more detail. Up and down at the ankle. The foot's connected by a ball joint, if you can see it there. Every ball joint. A toe bend. And the pivot that's decent, which is how I describe the articulation overall. Decent, I'm not blown away by it. Maybe it's because of the lack of ratchet joints. He just doesn't feel as solid as he looks. Again, not bad. You can get some decent poses. Or maybe I'm just spoiled. No. Something this big should have ratchet joints to compensate. Or at the very least, tighter friction joints. Size comparison time if you didn't get it. Here's Figma Modic Economy, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, Transform Element OP Leader, my previous review, The Mayfix, The New Batman Adventures Batman, and the official Masterpiece G1 Shockwave. Someone give him a sandwich. A damn good looking piece with a lot of shelf presence, just not my favorite to handle. And his transformation is also not my favorite. At least it's easy. Opening his chest reminds me of my ex-wife. That he actually comes with a matrix of leadership, diecast metal, an accessory that's mainly associated with Optimus Prime. Why is it here? And why does he have a designated slot to put it in? Doesn't even snap in. Psychotic design choice. You might need a part separator for this part, not included. This whole assembly likes to detach, even though it's literally screwed into place. Dumb. Here we have the gun mode. Uh, the silhouette is definitely there, and the transformation was very similar to the G1 figure. However, the results are not the prettiest. This is obviously the robot mode doing some abominable yoga, and the gun honestly looks worse and worse the more you go down it. The barrel, while overly thick, looks like a convincing conversion. Just don't turn it around and then you'll see his tits. But as we move along, the thighs are visible, seductive as ever, and the back is the worst. That 
that's a first. And alternate modes back being worse than the robot mode. I understand that this design didn't transform in the movie, but I feel they could have come up with something better than this. It doesn't even have a trigger! How am I supposed to end it all? The fact that this is such a big figure as well, missed opportunity to take advantage of all the real estate to engineer a more complex and convincing transformation. The thick thighs could have unplugged and folded into the bottom to fill it out more, or perhaps make the handle thicker. It is fun to hold though, I'll give it that much. <laughs> At least it's solid. Things actually plug in, so it actually feels like a real mode. Just doesn't look like one. But I suppose it's better than whatever the hell Hasbro came up with. At least it's big. Size comparison. Madoka, Godzilla, Prime, and Shockwave. This mode leaves a lot to be desired, but that is not the main point. The robot mode undeniably looks amazing. And if you like this design as much as I do, I'd still recommend picking him up from the store that's in the description. Shout out to them for giving this to me for free. Or else I'd have to pay for it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Gotta need two guns for that one.